So I've had this idea for this big um, gel press uh, print for quite a while. Um, so I'm working rather large and I'm working on uh, printmaking paper, American Masters printmaking paper. And I have um, blocked out, if you can see the crop marks here, um, the size of the plate in order to get it down there. And I've left a generous margin all around. I do a lot of defining that horizon line, meaning sort of a landscape line, usually in the upper third or lower third of the painting, or in this case. And I've print. been defining it quite a bit with um, what I call aesthetic writing. It's abstract writing. So the question is how to do that on a mono print with the gel press plate, because if I do it on the plate and then print it, it's backwards. So I came uh, across the idea of doing it with a resist. So I've taken um, Winsor Newton resist and put it into one of these fine line applicator tools. Um, I just squeeze it a little bit. And then I always have a word in mind, even though you can't read it. And I pick my word for the year. So my word this year is focus. So F-O-C-U-S, F-O-C-U-S. So I'm not leaving any space between words. I'm exaggerating my ascenders and my descenders, and I'm moving quickly because this stuff comes out here pretty quickly. And here it is on my final piece. So now I'm gonna print right over the top of that with my first layer for the print. I'm using Golden Open Acrylics just because they give me more working time. So I'm putting it out on a palette pad here. And I don't want it to be a solid nickel azo gold all the way up. So I'm going to take some Titan Buff, which is an off-white color, and put some of that on my palette. And I'm going to put a little nickel azo gold with that. And I'm going to take some of this Indian Yellow U which is, and use some of that as all. What I'm hoping is to get sort of an ombre effect. Um, darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. So for this first layer, I am going to use the gel press, um, the very large plate, the 12 by 14 inch plate. So I'm taking my brayer and I'm going into my quinacridone nickel azo gold and I'm going to ink up my plate. Nice thing about using the open acrylics is that it gives me a fair amount of working time. I don't have to feel like I'm in a rush. And next I'm going to take some of that um, Indian Yellow U and I'm going to kind of blend that in. So my Titan Buff and I'm not going to totally mix it up um, with the Quinacridone Gold, but I'm going to have the Quinacridone Gold in there. It's going to make the Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold more opaque. I don't want much of a line there, so I'm kind of softening it with the brayer action. I'm gonna take, I just love these things, these impressibles um, that are new with gel press. And this one is in their designer series, um, the Palatini series, it's called Overlapping Circles. And I, I love circles in my work. So this is like, um, sort of like a debossed gel plate. And I'm gonna use it like a stamp and stamp it. I want it from my horizon line down and I want it to be kind of subtle, so I'm not going to push it in really hard. So this is all inked up and ready to go. So here is my paper with my writing on it. The masking fluid is still there. And I'm going to put it down. I'm matching my paper sheet that's already down there. And I'm going to put it down and I'm going to rub all of All right, hold your breath. Let's look at our print. So you can see the circles. I'm just not happy with these streaks in here. Um, but I, you know, I live by if you can't fix it, feature it. And I think I have a way. Um, to fix those, not fix them, 
but make them be an integral part of the print. And for my next layer, I am going to use red. And I am going to use the small petite gel press plate that comes in this package of three. So here, it, here's my little plate and I'm gonna actually use it as a stamp. So here's my red. And now I'm going to take this little plate and ink it. And then I've got this foam stamp. Um, it's from joggles.com. And I'm going to stamp into my square here and lift off some of that red. So I was originally gonna put this down the left-hand side, but now I'm gonna center it because I'm trying to disguise some of those marks. And I'm just gonna stamp it down on there. Now remember, there's a line of writing that goes through there. Now I'm gonna do probably two more of these. I, I want them to be bright, so I'm gonna go ahead and re-ink my little plate that I used as the stamp. And I'm gonna re-stamp these circles in here, lifting off some of that ink. I'm gonna line it up just underneath there. And print it again. I'm gonna do it one more time because we always work in threes. Okay, I've got my stamp again, I've inked it up. Great, that's exactly what I was looking for. And I have some teal open acrylic. I'm gonna use my brayer just to ink up this stamp. And I'm just going to print my stamp right here to unify those two squares. And I'm gonna do it one more time here. And you know what, I think I want one at the top too and fulfill our threesome. Okay, so this is dry enough now that I can take off the um, resist. So it's um, it's a rubbery stuff. You can just rub it off. You can use a rubber cement pickup, um, or you can use your fingers. And you cannot get the uh, paint or ink or anything too heavy over the top of it, or it won't come off. Um, That's our first run, and um, come the next video, um, I'm going to do another layer on here of something. I'm not sure what yet, but I'll know by then. So um, enjoy your gel press plates, and I'll see you soon.